Merry Christmas. What have you brought to the table? I don't mean a box of chocolates or some squash and potatoes. I'm talking grief, stress, and struggles, all that's awkward and painful. Because I'm going to tell you about a God who's so awesome and faithfully authored himself into our struggle, and it starts with a stable. See, this is God taking human flesh. You'd assume he'd choose the best accommodations, ancient version of the Grand Budapest. But at the local inn, not a room was left. So the father looks upon a filthy barn and his response to it? Yes, it's perfect. It's not the answer you'd expect. But Christ is not a king who is afraid to step into the mess. He'd sooner choose to stoop into the gruesome truth of humanness. And we hear this story every year of how the Son of Man arrived. Make our Christmas scenes with figurines, we sing songs, the candles shine. But at the time, it was riots, violent tyrants, infanticide, and Roman occupation. So let us not romanticize. God's people were scandalized, tired, and exhausted, praying for their awaited Messiah to take up office, relying on the prophets or the latest town gossip of this favored man with blade in hand who'd make Israel great again. Then out of shadows of speculation, Christ is the beaming sunshine. From an infamous lineage, his birth is the punchline. Look at David, who lied, murdered, and was awfully flawed, or take Tamar, who seduced her own father-in-law. A hot mess, but not awkward to God, not blocking the promised adoption into the grace that he offers us all. So if you're lonely and desperate, in this cold, disconnected, COVID-infected globe, hoping for respite, rest assured, you're not alone, it's collective. And this is the home he's selected. He's chosen and blessed. So regardless what you bring to the table, a God can empathize. His love is unconditional, refuses to sever ties. He came in the most meek form to restore and rectify all that's weak, worn, and deformed till the beauty is recognized. So let all the living praise the one whose name makes the dead arise, who dwells among the poor with no agenda to gentrify, who rules the universe from Genesis to the end of time. We testify the blessed one descended a helpless child so that we could bring our mess to his table. He understands it well and redeems it. Come, let's adore this Jesus, Emmanuel.